kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back and catch a vibe. Hello, everyone. Welcome to At Home with Lisa, Lisa. Hi, lovers. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. We so appreciate you guys. So today, you all, it is time, it is past time for me to clean out my pantry, you guys. It was in such a disarray until I just couldn't take it anymore. So I took everything out and I'm going to start fresh. So let's open up and look at the space that we are dealing with. Because like I said, I have already taken everything out of the pantry. I have gone through everything, anything that was expired. I have already thrown that away as well too. I have swept and mopped out the pantry and we're just going to start at square one. I have wiped down and cleaned down the, um, the cabinet shelves. But one thing I did notice is that when I did take everything out, like the bins and the baskets, they were kind of kind of sticky to the shelves. So at at some point, I am going to line the shelves with some contact paper. I didn't do that this time because one, I didn't have the contact paper, and two, I've got to decide, you know, the look that I want when it comes to the contact paper. So everything is um, cleaned and I also went and um, spot painted any of the wall that um, had any scars or anything on it. But as far as the shelves, all I did was just wipe them and clean them down really, really good. A little backstory is probably about maybe six or seven months ago I purchased this pantry sign I originally purchased the sign to go outside the door up above the door but once I got home with the pantry sign the space above the door was like minimal so it wouldn't fit there so I've been holding on to this pantry sign trying to figure out how I'm going to use it. So as you can see, I figured out how I'm going to use the pantry sign. So I put it actually inside the pantry at the very top. And I have to keep in mind that whatever I put on that top shelf, that it can't cover the sign. So I like it there. I like the black and white and it's looking absolutely beautiful right there. So we're going to get into trying to put everything back in the pantry on these shelves. I want it to be cohesive. I want it to look nice, neat, and organized. So let's get into it, y'all. We're getting into it step by step. So thank you all so much for tuning in and sticking it out as we refresh this pantry for the summer. to go ahead and put in my stackable trays here that I'm going to use for my spices. I'm choosing to go ahead and work on the spices because it seems like I have the most of spices in the pantry. It takes up most of the space in the in the pantry. So I'm going to be using these step ladders to be able to house all of my seasoning um, the oversized seasonings, I'm probably going to put them on the outside, like at the other end where there's just empty space at. And I decided to also to pull up these trays to the very edge of this shelf here just to um, maximize my space. Therefore, I can put other things that are tall in height behind these shelves. So we're just going to go ahead and just pull everything to the front. We're going to face it to the front 
and then the last one I can only pull it so far because I have that divider there in the middle so um, I can't pull it all the way to the edge but I'm gonna pull it as far as I possibly can and then we'll have that extra space on the side whereas I can put all of my um, spice containers that are oversized again thank you all so so much for being patient as I go through this transition of refreshing and recreating this pantry so it is organized and it is functional for day-to-day -day use so now that I have those looking the way that I want to I'm, a, I'm going to go ahead and just knock out the very top shelf and so what I did there is I put my stackable wooden organizers up there. That's for my, like my onions and, you know, my dried fruits and potatoes up there. And I also decided to just uh, put a tray up there with a divider, whereas I can house all of my cookbooks. So I thought that was a good idea and I like the look of it. So now let's hop on over to getting these spices in place, you guys. Look at them. <clears throat> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the way these spice jars look. And then everything that is not in a spice jar or anything that is extra, I put it in the other side. And then behind my spices, as you can see, I have all my oils. I did put a, um, a ladder there to be able to lift everything up high so when you open the door to the pantry you're able to see it yes y'all we do have a lot of spices we like to cook with different spices and yes we do have a lot of spices y'all and there are actually a few more that i want to get but um yeah i'm liking the way this look and i hope you guys are liking the way it look as well too love bugs it is reveal time i'm getting ready to open the door so you guys can see everything that i place in the pantry and see how functional it is for us from day to day i love it and i hope you guys love it too i enjoyed sharing this with you all so let's go through and look at everything we got So as you can see down on the floor, I have some baskets down there that is housing all of our paper goods. And then we have some air fryers down there and rice cookers that we have down there. And of course we need the ladder because I am a shorty. So to get anything off of the top shelf, I'm going to need the ladder. So those are the things that I have down on the floor. I really wish I didn't have to have those down there, but anyway, for now, they are there. So I chose to use some of the clear containers and I do have them labeled. And then I brought everything to the front as far as the bins. So I'm able to put extra things behind the bins, as you can see. So everything is nice, neat, and organized. You can see everything. And I do have my uh, turntables here where um, you can spin around and get whatever it is that you want. So, yes, spin on, spin, twirl, twirl, spin. So I love those two for organization purposes. And all of the bins that you see here, anything that I've used, the spice jars, anything that I have used is in my Amazon storefront because that's where I got everything from. So check out my Amazon storefront for any of these organizers that you may see in this video. So yes, you guys, and, and guess what, y'all? I still have some space, as you can see right there, I still have some space left. So if we go to the supermarket to purchase anything, then I do have space to add. I'm glad it's not jam tight, whereas I couldn't add anything, but yes, we can add some more items. So I'm happy about that. But one tip for you guys is periodically go through your pantry 
and look at the items that you have in there and check your dates to make sure you don't have anything that is expired because y'all it's been such a long time since i checked my pantry so i had a lot of things that were expired and some containers that just had you know little bit of things in it i tossed all of that i ended up having two bags of things that i had to throw out i had two full bags everything wasn't expired but there were some things that you know like i said containers that just had a little bit in there maybe spice jars that just had a little bit in there i just went ahead and tossed those things so yeah you guys make sure that you're checking your pantry and your items in there to ensure that you don't have anything that is expired so that's a great tip for you guys so I want to say again, thank you all so, so much. I cannot do this without you all. And also, if this is your first time, I hope you enjoyed this pantry refresh and organization that you don't hesitate to click on that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And everyone that is tuning in on this video, please give it a big thumbs up and leave us some comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I inspired someone to redo their pantry and we'll see y'all in the next video kick back and catch a vibe we at home with lisa lisa kick back it's a lifestyle we at home